Peppermint OS The Cloud Native Linux Distro What if your entire operating system lived in the cloud? In 2025, Peppermint OS is pushing the boundaries of what we expect from Linux. This lightweight web-focused distribution challenges traditional desktop setups by blending local efficiency with seamless online integration. Is it the future of computing or just a clever niche player? Today, we're taking a deep dive to explore if Peppermint truly reshapes the modern Linux landscape. Imagine a Linux experience that's faster, simpler, and more adaptable to your digital life. Peppermint OS, with its innovative design, emphasizing web apps and minimal resource use, could transform how you work, browse, and create in 2025. Whether you are reviving old hardware or seeking a streamlined setup free from bloat, this distro promises efficiency without compromise. Stick around as we uncover why it might just be the key to unlocking a more liberated computing routine. Peppermint's Radical Rethink Linux in the Cloud Age Let's start by unpacking what Cloud Native really means for an everyday operating system. At its core, Cloud Native isn't about ditching your local machine entirely. It's about building an operating system that prioritizes web-based tools and services as first-class citizens. Peppermint OS embodies this by treating the browser as a central hub, allowing you to run web applications like Gmail, Google Docs, or Spotify directly on your desktop without the overhead of heavy native software. This approach minimizes local storage needs and leverages cloud resources for heavy lifting, making it ideal for a world where data lives online. My initial impressions of Peppermint OS in 2025. It's refreshingly snappy, booting up on a modest laptop. The interface loads in seconds, greeting you with a clean XFCE desktop that's intuitive yet highly customizable. Standard features include the integrated app menu that blends local and web options effortlessly and a focus on a stability drawn from its Debian base. No unnecessary frills, just reliable performance. Peppermint's evolution tells a story of adaption. It began life rooted in RxDE for ultimate lightness, evolving from Ubuntu derivatives to a more independent stance on Debian and Devon stable branches. By 2025, the philosophy has shifted toward a web-centric model with the tools like the ICE, which is Integrated Cloud Environment Framework, allowing users to pin web apps to the desktop as if they were native programs. This isn't a complete overhaul, but a thoughtful progression toward hybrid computing, where local control meets cloud convenience. Now, the brains behind the breeze. Peppermint's unique architecture. Diving deeper, let's explore the ICE applications that make Peppermint shine. ICE lets you transform websites into desktop icons. Think turning you two into a standalone window or integrating Trello as a productivity tool. The browser essential becomes your desktop's backbone, powered by the lightweight XFCE environment which keeps things fluid even on systems with limited RAM. On resource efficiency, Peppermint excels. Benchmarks from user tests in 2025 show it idling at around 300 to 500 MB of RAM on a fresh install. Far below many mainstream distros like Ubuntu, which can hover at 1 GB or more. CPU usage remains low during web-heavy tasks, making it a champ for notebooks or older PCs. Under the hood, 
it's built on debian's stable repositories for a rock solid reliability with custom tweaks like optimized package selection and support for devon to avoid systemd if preferred this choice enhances its cloud focus by prioritizing quick updates and minimal dependencies ensuring your system stays lean while pulling in cloud services smoothly now peppermint in practice who benefits most so who thrives with peppermint it's a revival expert for aging hardware think breathing new life into a 2010 era laptop that chugs on windows 11 netbook users love its portability and web enthusiasts find it as the ultimate browsing machine with eyes making sites feel native for creators it's surprisingly capable photo editing via web tools like photopea works seamlessly video streaming on netflix or youtube is buttery smooth thanks to the hardware acceleration support and productivity suits like google workspace or microsoft office online integrate without a hitch local apps like libreoffice can be added easily but the web first approach keeps things light now about the gaming it's not a powerhouse out of the box but 2025's advancements in linux gaming help steam with proton runs lighter titles well and cloud gaming services like geforce now or xbox cloud shine here offloading the workload to the internet heavy triple a games might require fix but for casual play it's viable especially on upgraded hardware now the future of linux peppermint's bold vision a web centric os like peppermint raises big questions on security and privacy on the plus side relying on reputable cloud services means built in updates and encryption from providers like google or microsoft locally debian's robust package management keeps vulnerabilities patched quickly however the always online reliance could expose you to web based threats if not careful use a vpn and ad blockers to stay safe overall it's no more vulnerable than a standard browser heavy setup and arguably more secure than a bloated systems with unmaintained apps the always online debate is real can it handle offline needs absolutely core functions like file management and local apps works fine without internet and you can cache web apps for limited offline use but for full cloud integration connectivity is a key making it less ideal for remote or low bandwidth scenarios community wise peppermint's development is community driven with active forums discords and matrix channels fostering contributions in 2025's fast paced tech world plans include more mini iso options for even lighter installs and enhanced web app support positioning it to evolve with the trends like ai assisted browsing now is peppermint your next daily driver final verdict in 2025 peppermint's pros are clear blistering speed on low end hardware ultimate customizability seamless web integration and a stable debian foundation that just works now cons it might feel sparse for users wanting pre-installed software setup takes a bit more effort and advanced features like out of the box gaming or intensive local editing require add-ons try peppermint if you are on a old gear prioritize web tools or want a minimalist linux without the learning curve of arch skip it for power users needing heavy native apps or gamers wanting native performance without 
cloud crutches. Look to Popovs or Federer instead. Ultimately, is Peppermint the vanguard of a new Linux era? It's not revolutionizing everything. But in a cloud-dominated world, its lightweight, web-smart design makes a compiling case for the future. If you are ready to rethink your OS, download it today and see the difference. What do you think? Game changer or a niche pick? Drop your thoughts in the comment below and don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell for more Linux deep dives. Thanks for watching and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Peace out.